One of the most common reason that why your Amazon PPC campaign is not performing good is you are not able to understand the keyword targeting properly. Like when you are targeting keywords in Amazon, you will be having three options, exact targeting, broad targeting and phrase targeting. So if you understand how to do it properly, then you will be able to target the keywords correctly and you will be able to reach out to those people who are actually looking to purchase your product. So if you understand this game, then you will be able to get the good amount of sales from your Amazon PPC campaign. Because before start running Amazon PPC campaign, you need to understand like how this whole system works, how Amazon system works, how you have to sell product on Amazon and how PPC works. So basically, if you're selling a product on Amazon and you list that product on Amazon and you start running the PPC, so what in actual happen is when someone want to purchase any product, they simply go on Amazon website and search for the product they want. They search for a keyword regarding that product which is in their mind, right? So when they search for a keyword and press enter, so they will be able to see some results in front of them. Some of them are sponsored or some of them are ranking organically. So after searching that, they will be having multiple options, multiple options from seller from which they can purchase from any one of them, right? So when someone wants some product, they go on Amazon and search for a keyword and that keyword can be different for every person, right? So if you target the keyword properly, then you will be able to show your product to all of those people who want to purchase that product, right? So basically if you target your keyword correctly, so you will be able to show that product to maximum people who want to purchase that product. So if your product will be able to reach out to maximum people, so you will get maximum sales, right? So in this short video, I'm going to explain you in detail the concept behind the keyword targeting, like what exact targeting mean, what phrase targeting mean, and what broad targeting mean. So basically, if you think about that, it seems to be a very simple concept, but it's not that simple. But believe me, after watching this video, it will become simple for you and you will be able to differentiate between them and you will be able to decide like in which campaign you can target which keyword targeting so you can get good results and you can display your product in front of all of those people who want to purchase. Because if someone want to purchase your product and you show them your product so they will definitely purchase and you will get good sales but if you're showing your product to irrelevant people who don't want to purchase your product instead they're looking for something else so they will not purchase from you and you will lose money in ppc right so to understand this concept easily step by step keep on watching so as you can see that this is my one week sales and if i put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales you can see that throughout the year i got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in december which was christmas season so around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the ppc spend was very less for the lifetime so basically i don't do any magic i only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which i've already explained you in these videos so if you also want to learn all of those tips tricks and strategies you can just go on my amazon playlist on youtube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this all right guys so as you can see here i'm on my laptop right now and from my campaign manager i have opened this campaign page from where we can actually create any campaign right so after you click on create campaign and the sponsored campaign you will be able to see this page from where you can actually add any product from your seller central and you can actually create the campaign for them right so after adding that product you will see this targeting module in which you need to tell amazon that either you want to go for automatic targeting or manual targeting right so basically if you click automatic targeting then you will have no control on your pvc because by clicking automatic targeting you are giving full control to amazon to show the ad of your product anywhere they want and any people they want right so if you click on manual targeting and if you click on keyword targeting and then if you go down so in that way you will be having a full control on your ppc campaign like you can do your keyword research you can find those keywords which you think are relevant to your product and all of those people on amazon who want to purchase your product might be searching those keywords right so after the selection of your keyword after researching your keyword you will be able to allow to put those keywords here and tell amazon that please target these keywords into my campaign so all of those people who are searching these keywords on amazon can actually see my product and they can actually purchase right so at this point you know like in this manual campaign you are having full control on your keyword like on which keyword amazon can display your product or on which keyword not but after selecting your keywords after doing your keyword research you will be having three options number one broad targeting number two phrase targeting and number three exact targeting right so here you can see that for example this is the keyword pokemon bath bomb right so if i target this keyword so i will be having three options either i can target this keyword as broad match or i can target this keyword 
keyword as phrase match or exact match, right? So first of all, you need to understand, like if you're creating one campaign, then it is not recommended to target each match type in that campaign. Because if you target this keyword, Pokemon Bar Bomb in the same campaign with all of these match type, like broad phrase and exact, then PPC will confuse and it will not give you good results, right? So basically, if you want to target this keyword as broad, as phrase and as exact, so I will recommend you to create three different campaigns in which you can target this Pokemon Bar Bomb keyword as broad, as phrase or as exact. So if you create three different campaigns, then you will be able to monitor the results individually for each match type and then you will know like which match type for this keyword is performing good for you. Right? So now for example, if I want to target this keyword Pokemon Bar Bomb as broad in this campaign, so in front of this keyword, I can just simply click add on broad. So on the right side, you can see that this keyword as a broad match type has been added into this campaign, right? And the suggested bid from Amazon is $0.7, right? So basically if I add this, so this keyword in my campaign for that product will be targeted as broad. So now let me explain you what is the difference between broad, phrase and exact, right? So for example, if I target this keyword as an exact match, so Amazon will show the advertise of my product to only those people who are searching this exact exact same keyword Pokemon Bar Bomb on Amazon right no other people so this is the exact match type and if I go on Amazon and type the same keyword Pokemon Bar Bombs right so if I search for that keyword then all of those people who are only searching for this keyword will be able to see my ads on Amazon otherwise not so sometimes this strategy works but sometimes not because it is not necessary that all of those people who want to purchase that product will type the exact keyword right some people can type pokemon bath bomb but some people can type pokemon bath bomb for kids right so this is also a keyword which is super relevant to this product and people who want to purchase that product can search for that keyword right but we can shuffle that keyword like pokemon bath bomb for kids or bath bomb for kids Pokemon, right? So if we shuffle all of those words from this keyword or add some new words or delete some new words, so we can have thousands of combinations for the keywords for only this product, right? So if we want to target those people who are basically searching different combination for this keyword, so exact match is not recommended, right? So the exact match is only for those people who are typing the exact keyword, right? So for example, if you are 100% confident, like people will only target Pokemon Bar Bomb for kids, so you can target as exact. But if you think that some people will target Pokemon Bar Bomb, some people will target Pokemon Bar Bomb for kids, some people will target colorful Bar Bomb. So you don't have to go for exact match. Instead, you can just go for phrase or broad. So now what happened in phrase? So basically phrase means if you're having a keyword like bath bomb for kids Pokemon. So basically this is a phrase. If we adjust or if we shuffle these words into this keyword, so that will be called phrase match. Like if someone will be searching bath bomb for kids Pokemon or Pokemon bath bomb for kids or kids bath bomb Pokemon. So if any keyword will contains these five words, but in different orders, so that will be called a phrase match. Because in phrase match, we can have different keywords with a combination of only these words, not any extra word, right? So if that is the case with you, you can just put phrase targeting and you can target this keyword. So any people, any person who is searching for any keyword, including only these words, bath, bomb, for, kids, Pokemon, will be able to see your ads, otherwise not. But in broad targeting, basically you are targeting a broad category of people who can actually search for any kind of keyword, including Pokemon bar bomb. So basically if you're in the broad campaign, so broad campaign is very good for discovering a new keywords, right? Because if you target this keyword, Pokemon bar bomb, as a broad match so anyone to searching for any keyword including pokemon bar bomb and at the end or at the starting they can include any word like pokemon bar bomb for my children pokemon bar bomb for my boy pokemon bar bomb for gift so any keyword including that pokemon bar bomb and after that they can include any word like gift for my boy for my children for my brother so any kind of combination of the keyword including that word and including some other word will be targeted into that match type right so basically if you are 100% confident like people will only search for that keyword and you want to target only those people so you can actually target exact but if you want to discover new keyword new emerging keyword that you also don't know are relevant to your product and you want to test like if you display your product in front of many people searching about the combination of that keyword and you want to check like from which keyword you are getting sales or not so you can just try broad match on any keyword so i hope at this point you have complete understanding about the match type of keyword targeting broad phrase and exact so right after watching this video 
I will recommend you to create different campaign for each match type, broad phrase and exact. And then after running all of those campaign for at least one week, you can actually analyze like which campaign is bringing you good results. So you can actually tune those campaign, stop those campaign or create a new campaign, including all of those keywords, which you think are bringing sales from these campaigns. Right? So after running those campaign, after analyzing, you will be able to find the golden keyword for your product. And if you think that these golden keyword are exact keyword, which people are searching, who are looking to purchase your product, and these keywords are super relevant. So you can actually create a new campaign and target all of those golden keywords into that campaign. So your PPC campaigns can actually perform better and give you more results, more sales and more profit. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.